Hi, in this video we're going to repair a broken battery box, the handle's broken, and a dehumidifier water reservoir with a cracked handle. We're going to use fiberglass resin that comes in a larger can, and we're going to use liquid hardener, it comes in a small tube, along with fiberglass cloth and mat. And we're going to cut the cloth or mat so that there's at least an inch over the cracked area beyond it. And due to the curving uh, area that we're going to cover, we're going to use cloth, which is more flexible on the battery box. Again, extending it well beyond the repaired area. I'm going to put some general adhesive, general purpose adhesive on here, just to hold this in place during the process of uh, putting on the fiberglass. This isn't super glue, it's more like a model airplane type glue. That's what it smells like anyway. There, we'll let that dry before we try to apply the uh, fiberglass. And this is fluid ounces. I used a measuring cup and then made marks on there at one, three, and four ounces, just for this purpose. Now I estimated one ounce for this small job, but you could just as easily mix up more. Okay, so 14 drops. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, I got a stir stick. Stir it up good. The resin and hardener is set up uh, pretty slowly. Okay, you satisfied? It's stirred up good enough. Slip your piece in there. This is where you nice need these gloves. You're going to want to thoroughly saturate the mat or cloth. Okay, let's put it in position. Okay, we could use a little more on there. Okay, we're moving in number two. Put piece two in there. This time we're using the cloth. Flip it over. Get it nice and... Let's say work this stuff in. And clean up the excess so you don't wind up with kind of a sticky mess here. Okay, that one looks pretty good. And I let this set up for 24 to 48 hours. Due to the messiness and odors of this job, it's best done outside. So I cleaned this up pretty quickly. Now we're going to fill this reservoir with water and stress test our, our repair. Okay, stress test time. This water is like probably two and a half gallons, 20 pounds, so it's holding up good. This seems quite strong. Now for the battery, and a battery might weigh upwards of 40 pounds. Let's see if this thing's going to hold up. Again. And it does. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.